Hey all, it's Thursday morning, technically, because it's coming up to 2 o'clock in the morning. And I'm doing this vlog because I've had fun and games for the last few days. And I've actually lost the footage for the videos that I'd done previously, so start again. That's the easiest option. Anyway, what I'm going to concentrate on in this particular video is this. As you can probably tell, it's not my normal computer. Well, I'll tell you the story. Uh, last week, a friend of mine bought this for himself for just £10 from another friend of his because as far as his friend was concerned, it was, well, fucked, basically. To put up bluntly. And uh, he bought it here once he'd gone and bought it off his friend. And uh, it had two hard drives in it, four gigabytes DDR3 RAM. It's currently running an AMD dual core processor at 3.4 gigahertz. It's an APU, so it's got integrated Radeon HD graphics. Um, but it's only an A4, so I'm going to upgrade that considerably, actually. It's, been, it's going to cost me about 60, 70 quid to upgrade that processor, but I think it's going to be worth it. Anyway, going back to the story. He also traded previously a laptop, which is over here, with me. This, little, this nice silver HP. Don't know if it works, I haven't got a power supply. It doesn't take your, you know, your generic round plug. It takes some sort of weird ass round plug that I don't have. I've got the right voltage, just not the right plug. So it's not too expensive. So I think I'll gamble. If it doesn't work, I'll just throw the whole thing on eBay spares repairs. Anyway, that had a one terabyte hard drive in it, and you want me to take it out of there and put it in this desktop, which I did. Put Windows 10 on it, but the problem was it kept blue screening. That was the issue. And even though he took it home and it was working, it still kept blue screening. But he seemed happy with it anyway, you know, because he said once it had gone through its, you know, repair cycle, whatever, it would be fine after that. So, anywho, a couple of days, literally at least two days after I'd done this for him, he messages me on Facebook and asked if I wanted to swap it for my PlayStation 3. At first I was rel reluctant because I do, do like my PS3. But uh, in the end, as you can see, I did agree to the trade. Um, and I'm actually glad I did. Uh, and I've already done couple of upgrades to it and fixed the blue screen problem touch wood knock on wood whatever sign you want to use I don't want to talk it up all I did I did a bit of digging around on Google and um, found an unrelated topic to the issue but it was related to the BIOS where they just dropped took the battery out of the motherboard left it a couple of hours and put it back in so I took it out of, my, out of that one Left it an hour, put it back in, and so far, like I said, touch wood, it's not done it. Um, so, what I wanted to do was actually keep that to one side and get the processor and everything for it before I stuck it up here. And yes, I am still going to go ahead with the other build. Although I'm not going to be using that case. That's going to go back to my brother. Um, but the original idea was, because I was so sick and tired of this, uh, my old one down here, what's left of it, I've just been so sluggish and so slow to boot. I'm not kidding. My routine was to get up in the mornings, go to the lounge, turn a computer on, go take a pee, come back, sign in, come in here, get dressed and if I'm lucky it would have been booted up enough for me to start using it. <laughs> I 
So a good sort of five to ten minutes to boot up, you know, that was ridiculous. But I guess just after so long I'd gotten used to it. But it was, so I just thought, yesterday, sod it, I'll take that old hard drive out, because the hard drive in it is pretty high mileage now. And I was going to use the 320 gig that came with that other computer. Installed it on there. Uh, and I can't remember, there's a few issues I was having. I don't know what to get some videos edited and I couldn't find an editor, because obviously Windows 10 doesn't come with Movie Maker. And due to my funds and lack of power on machines, it's pretty much the only thing I can use to edit. But uh, I have resolved that issue now. I'll come back to that. So, I went to put my other hard drive back in this machine and it wouldn't boot properly. Something had corrupted the OS on it somehow. And literally all I did had taken it out of this machine and then I'd only reconnected it as a second drive to transfer the folders across that I wanted. Just a couple of music folders and a couple of uh, picture folders and whatnot. And that was it. That's all I did. <laughs> so, I actually don't know if that hard drive is actually on its last legs or if the OS had just got corrupted somehow and didn't want to boot properly. So, I decide, sod it. Build that one up. So that's what I did. I put my 8GB stick in it, a 750 watt power supply out of this one in it, and the video card, obviously. Because that's all I've got to use at the moment. Um, and like I said, I'm still going to do this project and this motherboard. That's still going ahead. So, I do still need the power supply. Um, Mark Hyde has got one for me. I will still need it. Um, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do with that one yet. But anyway... I totally lost track of what I, where I was. <laughs> yeah, so I stuck everything in there. Tried to install Windows, and it wouldn't. Wouldn't boot from CD, even though I'd gone into the BIOS and, you know, set it to boot from disk first. So I took the hard drive out, brought it back in here, jury-rigged this thing together, and installed Windows 10 on here. And uh, the first time I did it went, you know, nice and smoothly. Because this, this is actually one of the other issues I had. I'd done it. And this is actually why I was going to use my... Or go back to temporarily using my old hard drive. Because I was going to sort it out today. But that didn't go to plan. Because uh, I'd installed the wrong OS on it. I'd installed a 32-bit, not a 64-bit. And as such... It wasn't recognising or using all of my 8GB um, stick. So I thought, sod it, can't be bothered to reinstall Windows now. Because I'd actually, before I'd actually realised what I'd done, I had started to, you know, pretty much redone all my bookmarks and reinstalled all the programs I use. You know, I'd got almost completely finished with the rebuild. So I really wasn't in the mood to reinstall Windows again. <laughs> yeah. Which is why I was just going to say, right, sod it, I've got some videos to do, I'll just use my old hard drive, but that plan didn't work. So in the end, bought the hard drive back through here, because it wouldn't boot on that one from the disk. Installed Windows 10 64-bit. The only reason I made that mistake, though, is because the disk I used had 64-bit written on it. But it wasn't. It's a 32-bit system on the disks. No good. But anyway, it didn't actually take me long to redo it, I suppose, because I knew what I was doing by then. I've got a system going, so it really wasn't taking me long. So, uh, yeah, now I'm there. And uh, the 4 gigabyte stick that came with it, I actually swapped with my brother for another 4 gig stick. Reason being, my 8 gigs is a 1600 megahertz stick. And the 4 gigabytes that came with it is a 1333. And my brother wanted another 1333 for his computer, because that's what he's got for his. So we swapped. <laughs> so 
So I've now got 12 gigabytes of RAM on this. The processor still bottlenecks when I um, render videos. Because I did find a download for um, Windows Live Essentials. So if you want to reuse or carry on using Windows Movie Maker, that's what you've got to download. And as long as I don't forget, I'll put a link in the description below to the website that I downloaded it from. And it works. I've put it through its paces. I've edited a video for the LEGO channel and uploaded it, so I know it's legit. But what I did, because it's the full Windows Live pack, you can actually pick which programs you want to install. So I only installed Movie Maker, because that's all I wanted to use. Didn't need the others. <sighs> so, this can take a max of 32 gigabytes of RAM. I'm not sure I'm actually going to need that, to be honest. I might get another 8 gigabyte stick to chuck in here. I'll get another two because that stick's got quite high mileage on it now as well. I suppose it doesn't matter. Um, upgrade the video card. I'm going to have to get a low profile one for this, but as long as it's got like at least two gigabytes of RAM on it, I think that'll do for my needs. Uh, I'm just going to bring up Task Manager. See, my processor bounces, but look at this. That's only a dual core. For some reason, as soon as I start Task Manager, this is up in like the 80s, sometimes 90%, then it just suddenly drops once Task Manager is open. So I'm not sure why it does that, but look at my memory. 12 gigabytes, and I'm only using 34%. Pretty low. But I might upgrade it to 16. I'm only using... That was so much higher, see now it's spiking up again, then down. Does a lot of that. But when I had Movie Maker running and it was rendering, that was pretty much on 100% most of the time. It fluctuated down a little. Actually a bit more than it did on my quad core. Which proves that quad core is a piece of shit. <laughs> um, I'm pretty certain I still can't multitask with this, but... Oh, the motherboard is an MSI. Um, and the, the RAM it can take is basically 1333 to whatever the max is you can get for DDR3. And the processor is right from an AMD A4 in an FM2 socket to an AM or to an A10 in an FM2 so socket. I'm seriously thinking of going for the. Um, a10. Well, I'm going to shop around, see what I can get. I'd like a quad core on this. Um, I'm not sure if it would take a 12 core. going to need to put a slightly larger um, heat sink on this. But, uh, yeah, I'm happy. Got two red fans on the side there. Which are on a switch as well, I can turn them off, look. When the button bloody works. I'm going to leave it turned on though, because... One red one in the front and an ordinary one in the back, that's all it's got for cooling. <laughs> so it could probably do with a better case for cooling. Um, but it seems to be running fine at the moment, so... And when I get the uh, replacement processor, I'm going to buy some decent thermal paste, not the cheap shit that I use for my projects. It works, but it's not the best. <laughs> it does for the um, old... It's suitable for the older computers, basically, when I'm getting them working, but to use on something like this. I have redone it with the cheap stuff, because it was a bit dry and crusty, but like I said, it'll do for now. But I will change that later. But uh, I was having some problems with Game Room, Facebook Game Room, but some of the games kept crashing. But ever since 
my system automatically upgraded the um, video driver for about the third time. It must have found another update. It worked fine. <laughs> Again, touch wood. The bad thing is, with the con man game I play and Adventure Capitalist, I've had to start over because I think they actually save to your local drive, not to a cloud server like a lot of Facebook games. Which means, as that other hard drive is pretty much defunct, I've lost the game saves. No biggie, that's easy enough to start over on them games, so... So yeah, I'm... I'm actually happy. That's a... Well, the case is cold to the touch, so that's not a bad thing. I will probably tomorrow just make sure these fans are installed the right way so I've got the airflow going correctly. But, uh. I can't actually, uh. fit any more fans on here. I could put. The one in the back doesn't light up red, it's just an ordinary fan. But, uh. if I could. Or if it was worth it, I would have stuck a light up one in there, but it's not worth it. Anyway, my brother's going to have his case back. Not the little one on the that I use for my TV, the other one. Uh, but he wants the red fans in that are actually in that one. So I've got to put those fans back in there. I'm going to take my white fans out and put in there. <laughs> The side cover is off because I've got a Wi-Fi card to install and I've upgraded the RAM. My brother had a bunch of uh, DDR2 RAM laying around that he didn't need. So uh, I'm going to buy it off him. i just got to arrange a price. <laughs> so I took the two gigs out of that one. one. That's the one I was using to see if that Windows Movie Maker file was legit. Uh, yes, yeah, so I put. Uh, I got two, two gigabyte sticks from a brother that I stuck in there. So that's now on four gigs. With a three gigahertz dual core AMD, that's not bad. And actually, oddly enough, that's the same. <laughs> that's got three gigahertz dual core AMD. And I actually think, where's it gone? Oh, it's down here. I think that one is as well. That one has got two gigs of RAM on it. Four, 512 sticks, because that's all I've got. But uh, I do believe I can actually upgrade that if I want, but I think I'll do for now. I'm going to put this back to Windows 7, I think. No, Windows 10. Because stupid me thought, you know, Movie Maker came with Windows 7, so I threw that on there. <laughs> no. They, dis well, they didn't include it with Windows 7. You had to get Windows Live Essentials in order to get it. But anyway, I've got some spare DDR2 here, which I can just go back to using as my testing sticks to test such motherboards that use it. In fact, I think I've got... Not sure what I'm going to do with my AMD motherboard in there. I could sell it as is, minus the RAM because I don't have any DDR3 RAM. It's all in use. <sighs> Where's that Wi-Fi card? I'm going to stick that in there. I hope my bro oh, I didn't ask him. Oh, well, he didn't message me, so I presume he got it working. If he even tried when he got home, so I swapped this internal one for a USB one that was in my one up there, so I'm hoping I can get this to work. Well, I know it works, because my brother used it, but I don't know if it's going to work with Windows 7. You know, if it'll just install as it is, or if I'm going to have to piss around trying to find drivers. It's what I like about installing Windows 10. You know, if you've got something like this. Not all of them. I have had a cut. I've actually got one over here that it didn't work on Windows 10. Which I was actually surprised at, but yeah. You know, I've got two of these. I don't know where the other one is, but I've got two of them. I couldn't get them to work on Windows 10. But, uh, 
this one does when you install it but what I'm saying is I find with Windows 10 if you've got your computer connected to the internet or you've got a Wi-Fi thing on it it'll automatically download any and update drivers for you for your video card you know and like I said nine times out of ten I've installed Windows 10 on a laptop with Wi-Fi not had to worry about audio drivers Wi-Fi drivers video drivers it's all done it for me and that's what I actually like about Windows 10 it saves so much work you just got to sit there and click with the mouse that is it right oh Mark Hyder messaged me have you got any spare fans nah not really <laughs> Although I've got three set aside here, which I've got to post. He's got a good brand. He's got some good brands in here. He's got Cooler Master and he's got Gigabyte. Yeah, I'd have liked to have kept them, but what the hell do I need them for? Got all them ones there. The only reason I've picked these three is because they've all got the connector he needs. The, those ones are either either haven't got a connector on, not that one. <laughs> Or I've got the wrong connector on. Look at the size of that one. You know, or they've got the Molex connector on. But uh, I do believe he just needs these ones, so that's why I've picked those and set those aside. He's having overheating problems. So, do you know, it took me 14 hours yesterday, or for 14 hours, I was messing around with that. Poxy computer, two computers I was fighting with. I won. <laughs> I got that one working. I won the fight. <laughs> but damn, I've just been feeling mentally drained all day. It's horrible. So I actually think I might go to bed very soon. So yeah, very long, very computer related video. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.